Hello everybody. Today I'll be uh, giving an example for this electronics course. And it goes as follows. Implement the following Boolean function. with a 4 by 1 mux or multiplexer and external gates so an external logic gates and the boolean function is as follows it has a b c d as inputs and the min terms one, two, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. So, a good way to practice this because it's a four by one mux and it's going to end up looking like uh, it has one output, obviously, and uh, four inputs with two selection lines in order to be able to select one of the four input line and uh, one of the four input options so basically it's gonna look something like this four by one mux with one up of function and Two selection lines S1, S0, and obviously one of four input options. And we need the circuitry here. We need to design a circuitry here that will actually be connected in a specific way to implement the following Boolean algebra as we see it here and with one output function so we need to we need to use two of these inputs in this function as our selection line and and the remaining ones have to be connected in a uh, in with logic external with external logic gates here uh, to these one of these four outputs uh, inputs so basically basically if zero zero is selected Whatever value here is connected to one will will out, be outputted to here, and if a zero one is selected, whatever is connected to the input one will be output will be the output f here. If it's uh, one uh, zero one, if it's one zero, whatever is connected to the to input two here will be uh, seen as an output here, and so on. So now we go on to design in uh, which of these inputs will be used as selection line and how the remaining ones will be connected in, uh, in which fashion to these inputs. First we draw the truth table for it. So we have we have A, B, C, D as our inputs and then obviously we have all possible selections. All possible combinations, sorry, zero 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 and then zero 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 one zero zero one zero and then I keep going zero zero one one I get zero one zero zero and then zero one zero one zero one one zero and then zero one 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 and I finished all the zeros here for the A and then I did the same thing for the one A and then I get the following combinations. all 16 combinations and then your function here 
output would be this mentors one two five like we said in the question seven eight ten eleven thirteen and fifteen so obviously the one the zero doesn't is not included so it's zero you get one one zero for four for three is zero for four is zero five is one you get seven eight ten seven eight not nine ten and you have eleven thirteen fifteen Now we have all here. Now we can easily see that for selection line 0, 0, if we take AB here, it's not changing much, so we take AB as our 0, 0 selection lines. And these will be selection line A. Actually, A, B, we can see here, this is selection line. When it's 0, 0, we'll select the first input. This will select the second input. And then this will select third input. And finally, this will select your final input, 3. So we can easily say this is A, B. Now we're remaining with the C and D. Now how, they be, how are these connected to create your outputs here? So we can easily see here that uh, with selection line AB being 0, 0, obviously, we just said that your function output here will have, we can easily notice that the C, maybe I should change the color here, You can easily see here the output here is really just the C XOR with D. Zero zero giving you zero, zero one gives you a one, one zero the changing gives you a one, one one is the same gives you a zero. So hence we know with selection a, a, a zero zero your first input will be connected C XOR with D. So if this is zero zero the circuitry for this one it's as easy as saying C XOR with D. So we created the first one. Now with the second one, what we can see here is that really D is equal to D. I mean F is equal to D in this scenario. So it's easy to see, right? So F is equal to D in the case AB is 0, 1. And this is as easy as connecting D directly to 1. Such. And then 1, 2 selection line. So AB having a selection line 2 we can here see that uh, we can actually do a, a little key map here to solve this problem uh, so we take your inputs C D 0 1 or 0 1 you end up with where the ones fall they fall in here and then you join these two together and these two together you get obviously D bar ward with, with this one which is C so your F function here is D bar ward with C and this is exactly what we draw up here for the third input so the third input really has D bar
or with C. Now we go to the final input. Now we do notice that the final input here actually your output here is equal to your D again. So same thing as earlier. F equals D. And then we do that connection again similarly. That's your D. Connected to 3. So basically we've created, we've solved this problem. Implement the following Boolean function with a 4 by 1. This is a 4 by 1 mux with external logic gates as you can see here the external logic gates that were used to generate this boolean function correctly I hope this helps and good luck on your exam